8 core AMD running at 3600 megahertz. Um, 16 gigs of RAM. The RAM, you definitely don't need that much RAM. I use that for other crazy shit, but uh, I have high high speed RAM. I guess that kind of helps, but in all honesty, it really doesn't matter for the RAM. For this game, it's more for your processor and the uh, network, the, your network speeds. And yeah, graphics card, that sucks. Anyway. Port forwarding. Um, when you open CMD, you can type IP config, and it will tell you your default gateway. That's the IP address of your router. What you want to do is you want to type that into your internet browser. It will either have a default password or maybe you set one up if you have have actually been here before. I think I forget the password because I'm too high. God damn it. Well, that's not very cool. Yeah, I'm just guessing random shit at this point, so... Um... The way you do it is first you have to make sure that you have a static IP. The way you do that... Uh... I hate Windows 7 for this shit. Go to here, go to change adapter settings. Sorry if you didn't see how to get to here. Right click on your internet and click open network sharing center. Once you're there, click change adapter settings. As you can see, I have Hamachi disabled. You do not need Hamachi for any of this shit. I had it for something else. I don't even need it anymore. That's why it's fucking disabled. Right click on your actual internet to click properties. Right click on TCP for, or not right click, just click it once. As you can see, I'm using 47. Like this is my router and then like the ending ports is 47. You can get all the other numbers when you do the IP config in CMD. You want to do it like this though. And all the numbers that I got here, you can basically find here, like uh, the DNS servers, these two DNS servers. Yeah, they're still the same. Um, there's my IP, like my local IP, pretty much. That's the default gateway, which is the router. And once you have a static IP set up, as in default, it will be on this thing when you get to this point, right? And if you click use the following and use the following, you can set it manually, which is what you need to do to actually run a server because you want the port 27015 to always be forwarded to your computer, which is this IP address. I was going to show you how to do that in the router, but yeah, it's a long story. When I figure out the password, I'll get back to you on that. Um, finding mods for your whole Warcraft source and shit, they're all on here somewhere. Uh, it's a lot easier to Google them in all honesty.
Weird, I guess Warcraft Source isn't on. I don't know, here one second. I don't even play that shit. I'm way too high to be doing this shit right now. Um, I'm gonna have to assume that that's all you need, including my server CFG file that you modify. Uh, it'll at least tell you how to get the server running. Just make sure you got good enough internet, etc. And you should be good. Good. Uh, you probably are going to need source mod because you said you wanted to do a Warcraft 3 or zombie mod server. So this, the source mod that you want to download is the Windows one, obviously. Um, when you download it, I think, I'll check just for you, just to be sure. You want to extract this to your C strike folder, so the way I would extract it is by going like this. As you can see, there's already an add ons folder there. That's pretty much this exactly. I don't need to extract it, but you will. Just make sure it's C strike, aka your folder destination that you installed the thing to in Steam CMD slash C strike. Alright. Once you extract that, as you can see right here, um, sorry, not right there, right here. <laughs> Someone gets stuck. Oh uh, yeah, as I was saying, um, source mod requires made a mod, uh, made a mods made by the same people as far as I know, just, um, download it, I'm pretty sure it's the same kind of setup, like an add-ons folder, because that's really both go in the long run. Yeah, extract that to your C-Strike folder as well. Um, hilarious this is the first time I've ever seen fraps actually lag. I guess I have enough stuff running finally. Um, once you got your admin mod and your source mod installed, you go into your add-ons thing, into your source mod folder. You have a plugins. There's a couple that are in, in here by default. It's like Rock the Vote and shit. You'll probably want those ones on. So just, all you gotta do is go in here and drag them back out of here. I don't remember exactly which ones there. Yeah, it's Rock the Vote and uh, Nominations. There's a couple more. Fun commands. That's not even enabled by default. I wasn't even going to put it on, but I mean, it's a climb server, so who really gives a shit? Um, I'm going to have to up you, upload you this file, but uh, you will always need a config. A couple configs in here, actually. Uh, I think the default one's in here. Yeah, map cycle, this thing actually tells the server what maps it's allowed to load. And source mod, like the plugins for Rock the Vote and Nominate and all that shit, they load from this file. Uh, you also need... Where the fuck is it? Server.cfg, right here. I'm so blind sometimes, I swear to god. I kind of stole someone else's config, but changed it around to like a climb one. I'll upload this, but... Obviously, you'll have to change pretty much fucking everything, because climb is weird. Um, and yeah, delete this part, because that's very weird shit. Uh, this should be pretty much everything that you need. Um, and then once you want to run it, just double click your shortcut and it will open. 
Uh, sometimes when you're running it, the server will, uh, it's like when Counter-Strike updates, it will say, the server needs to be updated. All you have to do is go back into Steam CMD and do the app update 232330 validate. It won't reinstall the whole game, it will just update it. And um, it only takes a little bit, like five minutes. If you don't know anything about port forwarding, I will give you a vague example very quickly. Actually, first I'll show you like my internet speeds and shit. This is pretty much what made me want to host a server. Um, I live in Halifax, Nova Scotia, which is pretty far away from New York, but New York get, gets better download and upload speeds for me. Even gets a better ping than my own fucking city. Actually, that's I got 70 earlier. Fraps may be lagging this, but I should have like a 70-30 connection, like 70 download and 30 upload. I'm sure the shit that I'm doing right now is lagging it pretty fucking bad, but regardless, a, a Counter Strike server you only need about two megabytes per second down and up, or two mbit, sorry, down and up. Warning, chassis span 1 is spinning at 12 RPM, I highly doubt that. Fucking Asus' old BIOS is retarded. Sorry, I'm not trying to ramble right now. This is the computer I'm running on. It is an... Hey, what's up? Um, just so you know, this is what the server looks like when you're running it. Uh, this server is... Definitely all kinds of, or I mean, this map story is definitely all kinds of fucked up, and it gives me all these retarded messages. But all the maps aren't like that, it's just some mappers are really bad, I don't know how they fuck the shit up that bad. Anyways, you're gonna need a couple things. First thing you will need is Steam CMD. Download it here. When you open it, just extract that file somewhere as if you wanted it, like, because it's going to make, it's going to generate a fuckload of files, so put it somewhere, like, in program files or something like that, or, like, a folder that you have just made for it, you know what I mean? So extract it there. I'm not going to because I already have it. And then when you open it, it will generate its files. It'll probably have to download them. Um, Yeah, you can see there's a shit ton of files there. I was gonna say, that's going pretty fucking slow. Um, the connection you get with this is pretty random, I find. When I updated slash installed my dedicated server, it took like a month. Checking for available updates, you just got the shit. Alright, once it's done and shit, you can type what you need to, which the first thing you're going to type is this. You can type like your Steam login and shit, but um, it doesn't work. I don't know why, but that's what people told me to do on the forums, and I tried it like 50 times, it didn't work. And then I, I read somewhere that someone did it with Login Anonymous, didn't even know you could do it, but I tried it, worked felt flawlessly first try. Um, on the Steam CMD page, when I hold my mic button, it fucks up a lot of shits. It's gonna be pissing me off. Um, hey, it says you can do it here. I was just blind as fuck. Um, right here, this is the first. Or the, this is the first command you're gonna use. It tells it where you're going to install whatever you're telling it to install. So you'd type it like this. That's my, um, that's where I have my shit. Uh, yeah, you do need to put the last slash, I think. I honestly don't know. Everything's fucking different. Then once you get that in there, you just have to look up, well, I know it, but, um, you have to look up the 
number for the game you want to install, which is Counter Strike Source Dedicated Server. And then you install it like this. I'm not going to click enter because the server is running right now. Um, it would probably blow everything up, so I'll just not click enter. But it, when you do that for the first time, it will install it. It will take a while. It's pretty big, but it's not even the fact that it's big. It's more so the fact that the Steam servers are just slow when you're on this shit. And you don't have to do anything else once that's done. Just type quit or just click exit. It really doesn't matter. Then once you get that shit good to go, go to your folder that you installed it to. You'll see this thing here. You want to make a shortcut to that uh, on your desktop, wherever the fuck. Um, I'll show you mine. Don't take a shit when you see my desktop. I gave up on organizing a long time ago. It usually lasts like a week. Um, this is my dedicated server. I'm going to copy this to Notepad so you can actually read it. And I'm going to put paste it in the, uh, the video description. Basically, when you defaultly open a shortcut, like if I was just to create the shortcut, it would just have this there. Um, you have to have the slash game C strike because that's the folder that you need to load. And if you don't type that, it will try to load uh, HL2 or base. I can't even remember anymore. Um, max players you set in here, not in a config. You might be able to do it in config, but I do it here. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> um, and I set it to go to a non-default map because it's a climb server. And that's a map that generally everyone can enjoy. Um, once you got your shortcut made, I was wondering if anybody could help me understand why the hell this doesn't work. As you can see, my command line is what it's supposed to be to update Counter-Strike Source, or at least install the server. And when I click enter, just tells me it's done, and it didn't do shit. As you can see, there's no files here. Um, anyone got an explanation for this shit?